Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your host with the most, Griever, as always, bringing you guys Akatsuki no Yona, Chapter 209 Review, also known as a Yona the Don. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yona the Don! Yona the Don, Chapter 209 Review. Let's get underway with this one because honestly, this is going to be probably the shortest Yona chapter I think I've ever reviewed. It's going to, like, not just in page number or anything like that, but in all honesty, just, I don't have a lot to say. We already knew that the South Kai uh, Emperor, whatever his name is, was this, like, conniving, snake-like, uh, evil person. We already knew that, and th that's all this is proving. We also know that there is now, uh, apparently, a ninja association, or some shadowy figures. There's a Black Ops, there's ninja, in the Kai Empire, and they are apparently the highly trained personal guards of the Emperor, etc., etc., and they are going to be used as the disposal, at the disposal of General Val. General Val is the guy we met that already has had, uh, is one of the top tier military generals of Kai, uh, preparing to, uh, you know, do the whole Koka Kingdom versus South Kai uh, invasion war thingy, and um, was summoned to basically say, and we all we get from this scene, honestly, is that General Val is really slow to the party. That's what we get. In all honesty, that's that's all we get. Like, the Emperor might be a dick calling him, like, a, a, a bitch, a, you know, an asshole, all these things, you know, a prick, but does not, outside of that, at least we know where he's coming from. At least he seems to have a head on his shoulder, shoulders. General Val is... I mean, his mission is simply he's going to go get Mei Nian, right? That's that's his thing from the Emperor. But the problem is, is that we go through a flashback and we go through multiple scenes of basically she was abused and beaten by him. She was, and she's supposed to be a general in all these things and she's a good person uh, in, in that regard. She was excited to become the concubine and we know her, her whole mission in as far as doing that and stuff from this flashback. But... He doesn't recognize, like, huh, I've seen her injured and beaten before, but these injuries look strange to me. It's like, well, she's not a general anymore, and she's not on the battlefield. Why does she look like somebody continuously punched her in the face? Like, it might be the translators this time, guys. I don't know, but General Val seems to be really naive and very slow to the party. And he, like, he still never suspects anything about her. First off... Um, this guy is calling him all the names in the book, and sure, 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 whatever. But um, it says, you got to go retrieve her. Maybe she's dead, maybe she's not, whatever. If she's prisoner, whatever, you're going to go get her and bring her back. And there's clearly malicious intent on bring, dragging her ass back because he uses the words capture. Val goes, capture? Capture. Not rescue. Capture. Doesn't think anything about that. Gets the highest, I guess, skilled ninja people from him to go make this happen. And also, apparently, I don't know what a kota is or a kuto is. Uh, that was not translated, so I have no idea. He's supposed to carve the symbol of South Kai in kuto in the back of Mei Nian at the in, at Koka Kingdom on the throne. What? Like, what? what's a kuto? I have no idea. I tried to look it up. Have no idea. So, um, and the, the site I was reading on didn't really have any translator notes about the word, so I have no idea what that is. Maybe I'm stupid. Either way, um, but th this is my point, is that General Val goes, like, he, uh, capture, not rescue, sees her got beaten up, abuse, domestic abuse, and now is going to retrieve and doesn't even think about it, just goes... Oh, sucks and I'm going to miss the action. This guy's a dick or an idiot. Either way, he's either an unfeeling dickwad or he's just so goddamn stupid he can't follow the breadcrumb trail to the, you know, to the obvious conclusion here. Like, he doesn't need to know a single thing that has happened for 208 chapters to make this logical conclusion. So, yeah, honestly, don't mind his design, but I feel like he's pretty much a dumbass. So that's all I got to say about that part. And then the second part of the chapter, once again, relatively short chapter. Um, and by the way, guys, I have no idea about the release schedule. That's why this is, is out late, I guess. I don't know when the chapter was released. I just get told by the comments on YouTube. So nobody really informs me of when they drop, so to speak. Apparently the next one is supposed to be July 5th. 
Will it be out July 5th or will it be out later? I have no idea. I really don't know. So uh, sorry if this one is a little late. Um, but yeah, the second half of the chapter follows Gintai. And we love Gintai. We love Gintai. He's the, the, he's the general of the Earth tribe. He's a badass. We know he respects. We know that him and Mundok have no desire to do like to do dishonorable things. They're like the crux. As I said, uh, Gwintai, like the whole rescue of Lily and stuff, it's like, I saw nothing sort of idea. Same with Mundok. They're sort of like with Hawk, we didn't see anything. You know, that, that like that was his like status and that was his sort of like, I'm not going to fight him sort of idea. Not because he thought he would lose to Hawk, which he lost at like 13, when Hawk was like 13 years old. But just the whole, it's wrong to attack them right now. It'd be wrong to take, like, you couldn't have ordered him to assassinate Yona. He would have said, no, 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 no. That's not honorable. That's not the way I play my game. So we know he's like one of the coolest of all the generals in, um, in, in the Koka kingdom, right? So... He's really cool, and we see him being really cool. He's not with his son, and that's what the people recognize. And the little boy from Arcs ago is there and stuff, and uh, all, all, all these things that they're talking about, um, which is the fact that like he's he's left his uh, newborn child and stuff. He's still here patrolling and helping us out, and South Kai hasn't been bothering us enough, and he's rallying the troops, and we're going to invade Coca King or the South Kai Kingdom, and everything's going to be grand. And then, uh, of course, they get attacked. But he goes, how many men? A hundred. <laughs> a skirmish. Now, I would blame, once again, this could be South Kai tactics, but you could also blame the scouts of the Earth Tribe not fully doing their job as to what happens. From a military standpoint, he was told a hundred troops. They attacked a hundred troops. I'm pretty sure he knows how to count. They slay them all, and the little boy goes up, oh my god, you're, you're, you're like Hawk. And he's like, Hawk? He's like, and then he describes Hawk, and he goes, Oh, yeah. He's like, that sounds exactly like so. The only hawk I know, yeah, strikes like lightning with a glaive. Yeah, I know who he's talking about. <laughs> so it's quite funny that these things happen under Guintai's nose, and he doesn't really know about all the adventures of the Yona group yet because they've never sat down and talked, just like Suwon and Hawk have never actually sat down and talked yet. Thankfully here... It's not exactly what we want. What we want is Suwon and Hawk to be in a room and have like a chapter long conversation. That's what we as the fan base all want, of course. But that's probably the like the number one thing everybody wants right now. But I would argue that a Gwintai and Hawk conversation would be like them like drinking or whatever and having a night and evening or whatever where they discuss things and what's right and what's wrong and discuss things from as both being military generals but also being men of honor what like may, maybe hawk will pose the question basically go why did you support Su Wan? And, and maybe he'll ask some point blank and stuff i think that this potentially we could have an extremely interesting conversation between them because gwen tai of course is like the best general outside of mundok uh and also he's the most honorable person so this should be really interesting because at the end of the day uh the scouts of the earth tribe fucked up or south kai was really dirty yeah or or really tactful with you know you could just call it dirty because they're the they're the enemy but at the same time maybe they're just smart and so whatever um whichever way you want to look at it and that a volley of arrows fly and he just goes oh no and he tries to block it of course he blocks the kid because he's an honorable guy he's just like hawk and he blocks it takes he took an arrow to the knee except this time it's not skyrim we're playing so he took three arrows to the back this is boromir happening all over again and um Basically, he just says, no, I'm fine. And I was like, oh, God, not poison arrows. Don't kill Gwentai like this. Like, no, no, no. We need more from this dude. He's, like, literally one of the top five fighters in the verse. We need this guy. So, um, yeah, so e either way, I was sort of like, all right, all right. Like, well, how are they going to do this? Are they poison arrows, whatever? But he's like, listen, I'm fine. And he's struggling to get up. Another volley of arrows coming. He's like, D you can do it without me. Just go, go, go. Because he's got his soldiers there. He's got his border patrol. He's got his battalion, whatever, what, whatever, his company, they're still there. And he's like, he's the only one that was attacked. So he's like, duck for cover, save the civilians, yada, 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 go attack them, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do sort of idea. But there's too many arrows incoming and everyone's just like, Gwintai, so they're trying to finish off the general as quickly as possible. It's an early strike and it's a great idea to completely cut. If they manage to kill a general before the war actually breaks out, one of the top generals 
in the kingdom. That is going to not only morale boost wise, but it's going to severely limit their capabilities on what they can do on the battlefield, what the armies can do, etc. It'd be a very, very, it, tactically, it's a genius idea to early take out a, a try to assassinate a general uh, right before the war breaks out. And of course, at the end of the day, I didn't expect this. I was like, holy shit, it was amazing. And the Thunder Beast shows up and string, no problem. You know, one-handed glaive, back, and I love it because it looks like he didn't do it like forward motion. He's got it in the wrong, you know, it, it's this way sort of idea, and he's just like, Psh. and I was just like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Bring, and it was, yeah, yeah, Hawks in the house, Hawks in the house, yeah. So the greatest character in all of Yona is in the house, and um, yeah, so this is gonna be awesome. Chapter 210, I, I was, I'm sort of glad we're sort of getting into a different adventure. Like we're sort of going a little bit more adventure again. Because yes, this has arc been interesting for some things. But honestly, I found that the latest, like this latest arc ever since they decided to go to the Crimson Dragon Castle, to Hiryu Castle, it's been the weakest arc of all of Yona. Not just because Yona decided to 180 her character, flip-flop chapter to chapter, panel to panel, but also um, the attitude of other characters. It's been a little droll. I don't mind seeing the political uh, side of things, but it's been a little too long. The, not enough action that we care about and stuff like this happening is just going to be really badass because now we have an interaction between Gwintai and Hawk. We did not know we wanted one, but now, God damn it, I want one. So... This is uh, this is actually really exciting. I'm looking forward to chapter 210 uh, coming out the first week of July, hopefully, apparently, and uh, that'll be really exciting. Uh, if it's translated by July 5th, that'll be awesome because I would love to be able to. I, I think chapter 210 is going to be a longer chapter than 209, and we are going to get a conversation between Gwintai and Hawk, and it's. I think it's going to be. There's going to be quite a bit of dialogue. It's not going to just be a short conversation, or they're going to set up that they're going to. Do a, have a conversation in chapter 211, 212, something like that. So, um, yeah, I thought this chapter was great. Uh, other than, the, like, well, great's a strong word. I love the ending part of the chapter, and I love that we get to see one of my favorite characters who's a side character, of course, but Gwen Tai is definitely one of my favorite generals. He's one of the one of the funner characters in the series, so it's really nice to see him again. Honestly, all the first half of the chapter did was confirm two things. General Val is a dumbass. Uh, and the emperor is a snining little bastard. So that that we already knew this sort of information. Now we just got confirmation of it. And apparently there's ninjas. That that's all we got from the first half of the chapter. So realistically, the chapter was okay. It was a little bit of setup, but the end part of the chapter made up for any uh, nuances and any opinions I had at the first half. So a uh, solid chapter. Solid. That's the word I'm going to use. It's a solid damn chapter. But what did you guys think of chapter 209 of Yona of the Dawn? What did you... Oh, wow. Okay. Clearly, I should only sing or attempt singing once per video. Clearly. Wow. Okay. So, like, comment, and subscribe as always, ladies and gentlemen. What did you guys think of the chapter? Don't forget to drink responsibly as always. And we will see you guys again next time. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.